boy, will I get a lot of heat for this. Hey, people, I am John, host of Video Games in the World. So as you know, I am not a very big fan of original classics being rebooted because most of them are bad and do not live up to the spirit of the original. Some of them are okay, and this article proves that Hollywood has truly ran out of fresh ideas. So, which has been rebooted this time? The 1980s vampire classic, The Lost Boys. I remember the first movie with Corey Feldman and Jemison Newlander as the Frog Brothers. I also remember the late Corey Haim in this movie. Not to forget, I remember how Kiefer Sutherland was a villain, and a damn good one too. Jamie Gertz and Jason Patrick were also a pretty good couple in that movie. We all know the story. A boy and his big brother, along with their mother, moved to Santa Carla, California, which is a surf town. But then he meets the Frog Brothers in a comic store, and that's when his older brother hangs out with a group of punks who turn out to be vampires. And the younger brother has to protect his brother as he is slowly losing his humanity and becoming a vampire. The movie became a cult classic and spawned two sequels in 2008 and 2011, respectively. Now, here's the latest news. The CW, which is known for shows such as Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, The Flash, Black Lightning, the upcoming Batwoman show, The Charmed reboot, and Jane the Virgin will air a TV reboot of The Lost Boys. Oh boy. There's going to be a riot since I'm about to say this, folks. The reboot is from Rob Thomas and Heather Mitchell. While there isn't much else known regarding plot or story details, there was recently a big scoop from Collider's podcast, The Witching Hour. The series hosts, Halle and Perry, revealed via Jeff Snyder that the Frog Brothers would be rewritten into the Frog Sisters. Nevertheless, the series doesn't seem to share any sense of continuity with The Lost Boys. So am I going to see the show? No, I'm not going to see it. Why? Is it because of the gender bending? No. If you're going to make a Lost Boys TV series, then at least it should take place after the thirst. So that way, brand new characters can be introduced, win us over, and the Frog Brothers pass on the torch to a new generation of vampire hunters. And when it comes to female vampire hunters, didn't we get, don't we have Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Which was considered by many, including our old friend, Anita Sarkeesian, a feminist icon. So now, the CW is pulling a Paul Fake on the Lost Boys. Oh boy. And speaking of Buffy, not too long ago, I remember hearing that a Buffy reboot is in the works by Joss Whedon and Monica owusu Green, and that the character will be a black woman. That pissed off a lot of people, including our old friend, Anita Sarkeesian, and herself, in which, for the first time in my life, I agreed with her on that topic about Buffy. Since it's a different continuity, I am still not interested in watching the reboot, and most likely, knowing the current climate in this day and age, it will be full of politics and wokeness. As for the reboots being bad, I remember how bad many of these were. The Planet of the Apes reboot by Tim Burton, which was boring. Friday the 13th was garbage. Nightmare on Elm Street, no one saw that. Evil Dead, people hated it. The Thing, people hated it. I can go on and on saying which reboot sucked. However, I can point out that some reboots were pretty good. For example, the 2009 Star Trek movie, which reintroduces characters of the original show with a fresh and younger cast. Also, I love seeing how the original Spock passes the torch to the younger Spock of that alternate universe. The Force Awakens, somewhat a reboot, was pretty good. Taking Star Wars fans on a brand new adventure with new characters, but never forgot about the old ones. However, Rey and Kylo Ren are rehashes of Jason and Gina Solo of the Expanded Universe, now known as the Legends canon. Well, folks, if you want to see the reboot, I will not stop you, but don't try to force people to watch it, okay? So don't forget, people, comment, rate, share, and subscribe. This is John, host of Video Games in the World. Have a good one. Peace out.